Hello there, and welcome back to my channel. I am Fox, and today we will be playing some Alaskan Road Truckers. Uh, so, you want to become a trucker? This is your game. Let's have a first look at it, and yeah, it's recently released. And uh, yeah, let's create our character. There's quite a few pre made options for us available. Um, can't do that one. That's probably either the DLC. Okay, uh, this guy's pretty cool. Will be cool. So that is definitely not cool. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely this. And we need to get name. And let's get Good to it. Good morning, truckers of Alaska. Josh from Truck Stop Radio here. It's a beautiful day outside with clear skies and the sun shining bright, making it a great day for a long haul. I hope it's the last breath of winter, folks. So it's your last day, huh? Here are your keys. Danny outside has the shipping documents. Well, good luck starting your own business. I heard the previous owner left a welcome package at your new place. Maybe it's something useful, although myself, I'd rather get a cake. Watch out for possible weather changes, but don't let rain or snow spoil your travels. Here's wishing you a safe and successful journey ahead. Okay, awesome. So this game is fairly new. Um, it recently came out, I think, on Wednesday, so the 18th of October. Uh, let's just read this quickly. You're about to start your career as an Alaskan road trucker. Your main job is to deliver various loads to many parts of Alaska. During your journeys, you have to take care of your truck and its components, but also yourself, your health, energy, and food. Completing deliveries will earn you money and experience needed to develop your skills and your headquarters. As small indie developers, we have always dreamed of creating this game. We hope you will help us out, uh, help us grow. It. Sorry. Uh, thank you for accompanying us uh, on this journey. Okay, various trucks to unlock, career awaits, UC to see sandbox map, uh, base expansion, dozens of different trailers and loads, mini survival, uh, four seasons. Okay, so this obviously going to be quite a different variations of um, seasons and uh, colors of your surroundings and so stuff like that. So obviously it's based in Alaska. So yeah, let's get to it. And as I said, it's a very small game, uh, a very small develop development team. So I find that absolutely amazing. Uh, the fact that a small development team could create this. Such a beautiful game. Okay, so let's get started. Go to the job manager and accept an assignment. You can check the controls in the settings menu. Okay. Uh, refinery equipment. So before you start your own tracking business, you need to complete one last job for your employer. Here you can you can see all you need to know. Press and hold uh, your confirmation button on the job name to accept it. Okay. So we need to take refinery equipment to PH Refinery Incorporated. Uh, we have oh, the task only uh, well expires in 22 hours. It's a standard standard trailer type distance 250 miles. Um, time to complete the task is five hours and four minutes. Base payout three thousand eight hundred dollars. Nice. Uh, a license required. Difficulty easy. Parking. Okay. Oh, okay. So basically, it's just normal parking. Great. Let's start. So from what I've seen of this game, it's quite interactive. Um, the fact that like you can be out of the car, walk around, or your truck, sorry, is pretty cool. So you need to lock your trailer into your truck. So great. You need to hook up the electronics, or well, the cables uh, for the electronics, I assume. Great. Uh, red to red. I'm not sure what will happen if you put them in the wrong way order around, but or even if we can, but we'll see. And then we need to look the supports. So up. And we can even see it moving. Okay. So this is pretty pretty freaking awesome. Seriously. Okay. It is time to get trucking. Um so I will be driving with a steering wheel 
uh, steering wheel and pedals. So I've already mapped all of the controls. So we can start our engines. And if you want to start it manually, you can go down here by ignition, press ignition on and off. Then you need to release your handbrake. I also have a button for handbrake just to make it a little bit easier. And we are ready to go. So yeah, as I explained, uh, also from what I've seen, with the sound is just a tad bit loud. So let's just put this down a little bit more. That's a little bit better. Yeah, so from what I've seen of this game, it's basically, it's very, very interactive. It's not like um, Euro Truck Simulator or American Truck Simulator, where um, you're stuck in the truck, basically. That's that's it. You are in the truck, you always drive around and you do nothing else. This one is a little bit more interactive. You obviously need to rest, but you also need to eat food, you need to refuel the truck, you need to maintain it. Um, so yeah, it's uh, uh, there's, there's even obstacles in some cases, especially if there's like storms. Then there's like trees and stuff that fall in the road. They need to clear the debris out before you can actually continue with your trip. So yeah, it's uh, it's pretty pretty interactive. So for this episode, we are just gonna do like a first look at it, see what it's all about. Uh, we can see some animals. Um, what is my steering wheel just completely disconnected? Okay, let me just have a look here quickly. Um, controls, steering wheel. Yes. Yeah, steering wheel disconnected. And the game froze. Okay, and we are back. Okay, we are back. Uh, the game just crashed for some reason. My steering wheel didn't work anymore, uh, so I'm not completely sure what went on there. Uh, I just want to double check the sound settings again. That's still 50%. Happy. Okay, cool. Okay, so as I was saying in this episode, um, we will be looking at just the first part of this game uh, before we do, like, we'll f uh, finish this mission, see what goes on, and then we'll take it from there. So, yeah, uh, first impressions game is quite pretty, um, decent quality, so steering. Quite decent so uh, as I said basically I'm playing with a steering wheel uh, with pedals and yeah uh, it's got force feedback uh, force feedback support the only thing is that if you want to make your steering wheel work with the game then you need to install Logitech G Hub um, it specifically the game specifically requires that probably for like integration to the steering wheel um, so I do have a thrust monster um, uh, the TX Italia edition, Ferrari Italia edition. Um, so yeah, basically, even though it's a Thrustmaster steering wheel, I still need to install Logitech G Hub. Uh, like I said, probably just for the um, integration into into the game. And yeah, basically, there's speed limits. I'm not sure how crazy the um, these are going to be if you break the speed limit, but let's see. A bit of a dangerous pass. Uh, let's slow down a bit. I should not actually have done that. Okay, let's go. Uh, the game also did say I've got low fuel, so I would need to stop at a fuel station. So we'll have a look at that just now as well. Okay, let's get back onto the right side of the road. Thank you. 
turn. And let's check the right. Is that back coming? Okay, he's giving me space to go. Interesting. Let's put on some fuel quickly. Indicate to the right. Left the truck. Okay. Okay. So we need to stop at a specific location. It's green. Great. Handbrake. Ignition. And let's get out of the car. Oh, the truck. Sorry, I'm gonna keep on calling it a, a, a car. But, uh, yeah. Okay, let's see. How much are we going to put in? Uh, let's put in maybe a, like, $400 there around. Okay. Pop it in. While this is busy filling up, let's check out the store. So here we can buy food because on the bottom left we can see our health, food and rest. So let's see if we can get some food. What's here? Coolant, engine oil, see like even if you can get that stuff like that means you need to do some engine maintenance as well. Uh, trail, uh, painkillers, um, alleviates pain, chocolate trail mix. Let's buy a few trail mixes, 9% nutrition so that's very decent. Because if we're on the road a lot, then uh, maybe we don't need to then stop for um, for food. And yeah, basically, not sure if we're gonna need painkillers. Uh, there's even like tire chains, especially for like if you're driving on snow, so on and so forth. Um, yeah, truck battery. There's even more snacks here. Canned food. Uh, Ten percent nutrition. Okay. Some peanuts. Uh, we have a coffee machine, black coffee, coffee, double coffee, uh, double double, uh, French vanilla, and coffee with half and half. Okay, we have some sodas, and here we have water, we have milk, okay, and even almond milk. Interesting. Not that I drink almond milk, but yeah. Uh, breakfast combo, interesting, uncooked. Uh, okay, so we still need to cook it though. Interesting, so do you need to cook food? Okay. Okay. Let's put this back. Okay, and we are ready to go off again. Okay. Start our engine. Handbrake. And let's go. On the bottom right, by our um, odometer. We can see our water level, fuel, uh, can't really see, let's just take a chance. Okay. Not sure why it's telling me to turn around. There we go. Okay. GPS was a bit uh, weird there. Okay. Let's carry on to the... to deliver this cargo. To the... to PH Refinery Incorporated. We still have 3 hours and 48 minutes left to do it. Um, not sure if it's real time minutes and hours or if it's just in game time. Uh, 46, 45, okay, that, that is in game minutes and hours. So it is a lot faster than real time. Uh, this heel is a bit difficult. Like, I'm being pale to the middle, but this heel is uh, conquering me a bit. But we'll get past it just now. Uh, trailer health is still 100%. Um, yeah, I'm getting a bit hungry though. But we'll probably eat when we've dropped off this trailer. Okay. Yeah, the landscape is absolutely beautiful. Um, pretty chilled. So I did turn the music off. Not sure if the music is copyrighted or not. Um, not gonna take the chance. Uh, if you know, perhaps, then let me know in the comments. But yeah, let's see. Uh, we have 71 miles more to go. So yeah, let's get to it. 
Previously, I have played a fair bit of um, Euro Truck Simulator. Um, pretty decent game as well. They expanded quite a lot on it. Let's just pause this guy quickly, if I can. Let's slow down that way. Let's... Um, yeah, so basically in Euro Truck Simulator, I've played that quite a bit um, uh, before. And uh, yeah, pretty awesome game. Uh, the integration is absolutely fantastic. The sim aspect of it is also just as good. But yeah, this game is fairly new. It brings it literally brings new things to the table. Um, where obviously you climb out of the car, you refill the uh, the truck yourself. Um, yeah, it's uh, a lot more interactive, and that might make for some interesting gameplay. And especially the seasons though. The seasons are something I'm really excited for. Uh, because the thing is, cool, it's uh, spring now, we're going into summer. Uh, so I'm not sure how temperature is going to be in play in this game. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. And uh, yeah, basically uh, very, very excited for the seasons. Um, obviously the game would be a little bit different. Let's say it's winter, it snows. Uh, roads are um, a little bit more slippery, so yeah, it, it will make up for, well, make uh, make some interesting content. So yeah, it's really, um, really excited to see what will happen. Let's take this turn, let me go. Uh, we are 28 miles away from our destination. Uh, your HQ is nearby. When you have a moment, you can drive to drive into its area to unlock it. Okay, so we have a whole HQ area similar to um, Euro Truck Simulator, but we'll see what that all entails because it did say in the start that we can upgrade our HQ. Uh, how we can upgrade it? Not sure yet. And what other trucks are available? Also not sure yet. But yeah, basically, uh, can't wait to see what we can do in this game. Take a right, a left here. Sorry, left, right, right, left. Uh, no, just go. Stupid drivers. Hey. Okay. Need to take a few corners here. A few turns. Right turn. Take this one. Obviously, with the trailer, but difficult to turn. And yeah, so now we need to park it. See, there's a parking right here. Uh, park in any highlighted area to uh, well and and unhook the trailer. Okay, so let's see. Okay, parking position in the middle left. We can see parking position, so let's take it slow. Let's get five stars. And done. Okay, and brake. Engine off. And let's get out the car. We need to lower the supports. Okay, let's see it lowering down there. Great. Uh, we need to disconnect the cables. Okay. Green. And then we need to disconnect, unlock, well, unlock the trailer. There we go. Completely disconnected. And then, job manager. Great. No Carter penalty, happy. So we get $4,119 from this job. Nice. You have completed the order. You are ready to continue the adventure on your own.
when you're ready for your next job, open the jobs tab and check for the available jobs in your area. You must have the required reputation and license. Okay, so we obviously have to do different licenses as well. We'll have to see how that works when we get to that point. Before traveling, stock up on food and tools at a nearby store. If you're tired, go to sleep in the sleeping cabin or drive to a motel. Uh, control the fuel level and pay attention to the negative statuses of the truck as they appear. Um, and then, with the money earned, you will be able to buy new trucks and customize them. You can also invest in expanding your base to save on visits to the workshop to or two workshops. Um, invest also in yourself by spending the perk points you gain in the driver tab. Okay. Congratulations, you have completed the ass assignment. Now you're ready to claim your HQ and start your own Alaskan trucking business. Let's set route for the HQ. Okay, it's fairly close. Happy. Um, they said we have perk points, so trucker. Ah, okay, so I've got $13,000. Reputation, almost three stars. Uh, zero days of that, 79 miles traveled since the beginning. And I'm assuming I've got a West End Sorrow 420 truck. Uh, personality perks, uh, grants access to your own HQ. So I've already acquired that. Got the trucker uh, license A. Uh, oh, there's the other licenses. Okay, cool. And then we have the mechanical perks, which is basically allowed to make basic repairs. And then obviously we have the tire workshop, truck workshop, and customizer. Okay, and then upgrades based on that. Okay, so all the perks is how we then better ourselves. Yeah, see, basically, so uh, there might be trees in the road, so you might have to remove the trees manually. Okay, let's get to our HQ. And also we can call for help using this CB radio here at the top. Okay, let's start our truck. Handbrake. And let's get to our HQ. Let's make a turn here. Right. It's not too far at least. Turn to the right, there's no one coming. Great. Currently 6.9 degrees and dry roads. Let's take it slow on this corner. Oh, that's not really slow, but okay. Uh, okay, so we need to just go around this uh, foresty area here. Cement truck in front of me. Left, are there any cars coming? No cars, great. Tracking sign, nice. We are getting 
hungry, grab a snack from the inventory or buy food at the store. Okay, well luckily we did buy food. So we'll just have a snack just now. Okay, this is our HQ. The base is crucial for the development of your business. Over time, you'll be able to expand it. Your office is located in the main building. Use your comp computer to build and improve new facilities. You can also use use it to buy new parking spaces and vehicles. Investing in workshops will allow you to repair and customize your trucks. You can also use workshops in cities, but they are more expensive. Okay. So either do it yourself for cheaper or get people to do it for more expensive. Okay. Okay, so we need to go in there, stop our truck, handbrake, and switch off. We still have three quarters of a tank of petrol or diesel um, or gas. And yeah, uh, that's our truck. Pretty awesome. Yeah. And this is our HQ. So many, many activities is going to happen here. Our activities are going to happen here. Okay, let's go in. So probably a little bit of a workshop here. And so our office. Uh, come on, man. Like, put the cushion there. Like, put it neat. Honestly. We have some firewood. We have a bed to sleep in. Nice. Okay, let's check the computer out. And that's it. So we have a truck dealer. Uh, we have this truck. Uh, obviously, yeah. Very more details. It's going to cost us 30,000 for this truck. But it's we've got the same truck because we also have a West End Sorrow 420. So, same truck. Okay, special. Interesting. Okay. Uh, this is the truck that we'll probably get if we buy the uh, DLC. Okay. Uh, manage HQ. Okay, so we can build a truck workshop uh, for 10,000. Customization workshop for 12 and a half. Uh, parking spaces for 2,000. And a tire workshop for 5,000. So let's do a parking space for now. Awesome. Uh, obviously, we can upgrade for more parking spaces, but I think two is fine for now. Uh, tire workshop, I'm not going to do right now. Uh, we don't really need a tire workshop at the moment. So yeah, then we have a jobs tab. So this is all the jobs that we can do. Um, okay, this is going to be a very, very long road if we're going to take something to deliver there. And then all the way down. Okay, so it's a fairly big map. Um, not as many roads though. Uh, I would have actually liked to have a little bit more roads in between, but I understand this is still a brand new game. They'll probably still expand on it. So yeah, and we can obviously filter licenses or well, jobs based on license because it doesn't help us having these jobs on because yeah, it's uh, we can't do them because we only have an A license, and then we can choose our jobs so we can actually see where we need to go for it uh, so basically we pick it pick up a trailer there and this is the route that we'll have to take uh, yeah then we have an alaskan bank so we can take a loan interest rate 20 percent that is crazy so like on a loan of twenty four thousand, you're going to pay four thousand dollars of interest damn I don't know. No, basically, if we take a loan of 20,000, 20, 20, then we uh, pay interest of 4,000. Okay. But yeah, that's a fair bit. And there's obviously some rules around it. And yeah, payment, obviously, if you want to make, if you have a loan, you make, want to make more payments. And the final thing that we need to do is, um, let's see if we can eat something quickly. How do I... Inventory. Okay, I for inventory. Uh, Trail me mix. It's all to eat. Doesn't really. That's a fair bit, but it doesn't really do that much. Okay, so we need obviously need to buy a lot more food, or better food. Okay, and there we go. Let's park our truck and finish off this episode. 
Start our track. Okay. Let's see. We want to park our truck there. That's the reverse park. There we go. In and done. Park our truck. Okay, there we go. And this is where we'll leave it off for today. Uh, in the next episode, we'll do a mission. Uh, let's see where the road takes us in Alaska. So, guys, this was Alaskan um, Alaskan Road Truckers. Uh, if you liked this video, uh, feel free to leave a like. If you're not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.